this next. No. But uh, another person I was uh is dropping an album is Chris Brown. He made his appearance on Drink Champs this past week. He claimed Diddy decided to pass on signing him to Bad Boy Records at 16. What? Come on. Comments? Look at most of that was it, motherfucker. Oh, oh. I thought there was more. You just no. said abruptly. I want to say that I'm kind of glad that he didn't sign Chris Brown. Okay, he yeah, to ruin his, his career. career, yep. Yeah, I, mean, I don't see that's not he a good pairing to me, and I can't think of any <sighs> artist that Diddy's broke that have like had like long term oh, success. Yes, no, and I said they probably I can't think, think. Bad Boy just don't sound like the place for Chris Brown. Bad, no, Bad Boy just this no, Chris do. Brown. I think, but you don't think Chris Brown, him being that talented, could have broke out in, in Bad Boy. I don't no, think it, 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 it would have projected like, his career. It wouldn't have been. Yeah, I think Diddy would have tried to be. Like it's, yeah. more in tune and his shit. It's either, one, it's either one or two. Oh, go ahead, Eric. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go at the opposite angle. I think I I think he still would have been successful. I think he still I mean, would have been. been not saying, not saying he, was, now. I, but I think so. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I do mm. believe because you got to think about the pay, people that Didi done put into play. You know what I mean? And the fact Ooh. that Chris. No, who has like had a like who? Right no, now? I don't think he's ever like yeah, you got broke an artist like, like that. A breakthrough superstar like maybe since Biggie. I'm being serious. Yeah, no, you're right. saying, he's talking about since then or in general. That's what I'm saying. No, he got like, the biggest a, one ever as, as a career, like a, a, other than Biggie. In didn't he start out Rick Ross? I kind of see Rick Ross saying. start off. Did, see didn't Rick Ross start off with Bad Boy? Because he did. He hasn't had. He, a, did, oh, did he put him on? Uh, future. He was. With future. He had, uh, he was with future. I don't know about Future. No, no, Future. It was. It was. It was like Future King Los. Did he don't put some niggas on, bro? For real. Did he? Yeah. I don't. I wouldn't. I don't know how many people Diddy has put on. But there has been some heavy hitters that have come from the Bad yeah, Boy label, exactly. whether I mean, they've been signed after they popped or whatever. But there's some people that have come from Bad Boy. Bro. Fucking um, MGK was on Bad Boy. Yeah, Fucking just, Rick Ross was on Bad Boy at one point. Okay, okay. I think a lot of people were. Oh a lot well, of people I mean, come from yeah, Bad Boy. Oh, Bow Wow. Oh Bow Wow. Okay. No, Bow Wow wasn't on Death. French Bad Montana. Oh, but now that, that I think about, now that I uh, really think about it, he hasn't had him. a lot of Chris Browns come through. Yeah. You know, he's he, not good with the R and B side. Oh, he had a whole. He, he had tried series. with making the B12. band. Shit. What was that shit called? Oh, making. But the band. They, none of them was Chris <laughs> Brown. <laughs> though, that's what I'm right? saying. No. Day, day 26 hey, and, and Danny D. Kane. You can't B- tell me a Day 26 song or B12 Danny was song. one of his groups right there. They were successful. Oh, D12. Though. It was D12. Oh, D12. D12. Janelle Monet. Oh, they, 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 oh yeah, yeah, Janelle Monet. D12. No, what the fuck are y'all talking D- about? Yeah. D12 is Eminem's shit. No, yeah. nigga, Day 26. That's why I said I'm gonna ride with Diddy on this still. one. I think I think no, Chris Brown would have still been Chris Brown if he would have got his hands on Diddy or if Diddy would have got his hands on him. I can't really. Now that I think about it, like entirely, I can't disagree with that because he hasn't had a lot of the Chris Brown level talent come through. I don't think he's done like good. With and truth be told, I'm gonna say a bold statement right here. Yeah, I think Diddy would have probably gave him that one solid hit that everybody say that that Chris Brown don't got. What? The, what? What? Whoa, Who said that? The, 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 they don't say he don't got no hit. Not he hit, no but you know album. what I'm saying. Yeah, well, okay, uh, they've worked together what? before, Wait. so pull up what songs they've had album? done together. Wait, you saying Chris Brown don't that have a breakout great. album? He don't have a classic. He don't have a classic album. Name a whole album. Royalty. Boy, no. all right. <laughs> that's, not no, that's not no classic album. But it's hard. Royalty, for, it's all hard his for, albums. That except Royalty. It's hard for Chris to have a classic album Royalty because his wild. albums be like fucking fifty money. songs apiece. Exactly. Yes. I don't know why he be doing that. You remember that? Oh, you remember, you remember that? I but I think I think Diddy would have yeah, gave him that. Right. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that. I think I remember that song. I think Diddy would have gave him that. It was on. It was on yesterday. that Train to Paris album, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last no, that Train to Paris album, though? Yeah. Was five. I that know that song you're talking about, the one with him. That was a good album, man. Mm-hmm. But, again, Diddy's a producer, not a rapper. So, remember that. <laughs> He's a producer. Sometimes producers can put out some hot shit. He's a rapper, too. He can, be, if he, he can rap some shit if he... 80, 80 to 90% of Diddy's raps are written for him. Diddy was on there. 80 to 90% of his raps are written for him. Yeah, more than likely. The only thing that can just really rap that's a producer the was uh. Yeah. But um, what else did they talk about? That's the Chris P. Brown interview. Oh, yeah. I didn't see this interview, but I did see Chris Brown and Big Boy have an interview recently. Oh, he was talking about uh, he don't want to be put in that uh, him versus Michael stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's somebody. Oh, uh, that's what I want to talk about. In my job, said if you think about it, he is just as uh, iconic as Michael. I almost slapped the. Fuck no, that's out the wrong of him. word. That's, yeah, that's, I almost that's slapped disrespectful. the fuck out of. Do you realize that? <laughs> that's Somebody, disrespectful. Bro, I really like. I really thought about like every, just giving everything away and just like <laughs> slap, <laughs> like risking it all to slap the dog shit out for that because some people really be living in the moment. Feel like you, but you think about it, like look at that career trajectory. I'm like, no, are you serious? But yeah. like like people say though, you gotta like, look at like how people. No. Bro. People ain't like it's a new wave of Michael of thoughts. with I global. Know. What was the person? Uh, Matthew, you know what I'm talking about. I think people's he view. Said how old? You might, you might turn it that way a little bit so I can. I think people's views change comfort. once like a specific person is like passed away. Because like right now, it's hard to look at Chris Brown as somebody who's like legendary or whatever but if this nigga was to pass away anytime soon he's got like oh, yeah, he's, okay. he's, he's got so much shit that oh, niggas would be like but, yo, but like, Michael Jackson was popping yeah. more alive than no, Chris thanks, Brown no, I mean, but can't, <laughs> look at the end of the day no one can stand in the middle of an arena and for stand then? still and for fucking 10 crazy. minutes they and just just go, they can start going. like no one can wow. do that okay but to, <laughs> but to, to back to jump off what DJ said you get thinking about like a new <laughs> wave of people. You know what I'm saying? A new wave, a generation of people. Like like we talked about before with other situations, a lot of history is lost within time. You get what I'm saying? So we yeah. talked about before these kids of this generation don't even barely even know what, what the Holocaust is. Well, nigga, so they don't have the effect. Him. They don't have the, the memory of what Michael Jackson did to us, Pauls. You know what I'm saying? Versus what Chris Brown's doing to them, Paul. Which <laughs> oh, y'all get what I'm saying? A lot of, right, the, niggas, no, no, no. Right a lot of the niggas that are just now becoming adults now, they weren't even alive when Michael Jackson. Exactly. We had the, exactly. We had the, exactly. the, 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 privilege. the privilege of exactly. still being alive, getting exactly. to see Michael do some yep. stuff. But kids now, they don't even know. That yeah. concert yep. he had, I, do, in, exactly. I think that was 01, when, his, bro. You know, when he was on stage with his mm-hmm. brothers and shit. You know what? I crazy. do got to agree with that because... Uh, this week I met somebody who never bought an album. Yeah, it's never scary. Album. You know what I'm saying it's a lot of stuff. If you think about it, small stuff that we so used to, that kids this generation they'll never have to do. It's a big game. like Eric. Eric's it's, 100% it's right, to the bro. point to where I was thinking about it, bro. I read a statistic that my two year old daughter might have a possibility she'll have to never know how to drive a car. No, definitely. You know what I'm saying? That sounds insane. You know what I mean? But by the time she gets 18, cars might be to the point to where she won't have to physically know how to drive. They them. might be. Oh, they are about to say, you know, we exactly. Already there. We are already there. So but it's let, just like. And last thing about Michael, what I want to say, the dude went like global, global without exactly. the internet, without the internet. Exactly. This thing, this thing like that, that's pretty much like TV, mm-hmm. TV and yeah. word of mouth. Yep. Yeah. But but Michael, Michael Jackson would have. Yeah. But imagine what the future could bring because technology could go even crazier. Just like how that's true. Just how like just how Chris Brown says that Michael influenced him. He grew up watching Michael da- learn how to dance. Watching Michael, there's mm. some kid these kids, who's five, what? six right yeah. now who's watching Chris Brown. Who's yeah. like the moves that these Chris, kids Chris be Brown doing, made bro. me want to dance. Chris Brown made me who I am. So yeah. ten years from now, you know they might yeah. look at Chris Brown like a hey, fucking. And doctor. I feel like yeah. that go back to my point I said one time before when we was talking about rappers and stuff. That's how I feel like. That's why I said it's like a it's an up and down chain. Like a big time rapper can influence somebody who was never gonna be shit. You know what I mean? Never never gonna make it in the rap career. Mm. And or they, let's say they they float the surface of the rap career. And then that floating influences somebody else that was meant to be great. You get what I'm saying? Like right. they have that you get what I'm saying? They have that greatness in them. Like so maybe? like I'm somebody gonna, really I'm like Ace Hood and then they Yeah, like oh man, I used to love Ace Hood coming up. He said yeah. he said the weirdest man, thing. Yeah. But you know, yeah. I, I okay, I love, why are we Doing Ace Hood like no, that. I, I, I like Ace. I, I, like Ace. I was going no, wrong with it. I was going wrong with it. that because Ace Hood is not like somebody. But yeah, no, I was going wrong. I like Ace Hood though. He's broken. I'm just yeah. saying he 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 cold like as fuck. Him. He just never. But yeah, like for him, yeah. example, he can influence somebody right. and then make he make. The next, come on, y'all. Exactly. The show. The next Kendrick, next, whoever, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I fuck with Ace. It, it, the comparison is not even a comparison to me because Michael Jackson would have kept R and B alive. He would right now. R and B is dead. Think about it. And I honestly, maybe I I just don't know what other artist was was legit popping off around Prince. Michael's time. Oh, it was a lot of people. It just they just didn't Prince. Prepare. Okay, okay, other than Prince, we know Prince. Was no, but there were a lot of people. I'm saying like 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 who you who said like, oh it's Michael and because you got to think about Prince, the, but yeah. no it wasn't because of nobody was Queen, there it was just because he was just so high up bro that's what, like you that's had what I'm saying, yeah. oh okay okay I mean, Michael was there man. was a lot of people up there though Elton John was up there bro but if Mike come to your city the everything else canceled. Fact. Yeah, for sure.